Hey everyone, so today I'm actually going to show you my next video of the day. Um, so I'm actually going to show you how I organize my binders. Now this is just an organization binder. This is not my binder for classes. Since our curriculum doesn't really require us to have binders for each subject, that will be a very big mess if I bring a binder in each subject. Well, it's just a, I can keep it organized, but we bring notebooks and books you know the tiny notebooks i'll give you an example like this this is a little twin star this is so cute um basically we bring this and we shove this in our bag which make our back crack and that's not good but that's our cur curriculum we're not like those american curriculum that requires like a binder for a little bit of paper a, a three subject notebook and then you're done that's what you're gonna bring for the day no our school requires a notebook for a day and we bring 10 to 9 notebooks a day for each subject and we have to take down notes and our books are actually really heavy so I want to transfer a little bit whatever so um, this is my binder I bought I actually featured this in my haul like the haul that I did before this video so yeah so first of all this is my binder it is an A4 sized I um binder and you have the four rings and you are going to get binder supplies like these now what are these what do you do with them this is a um, university loose paper you can just tear them off if you're done with your homework or seat work so I have that one these are really great and then um, punched pockets and maybe if you want you can add like labels and punched folders or anything you like personalize it have fun with it and such this is not a class binder I told you we're using notebooks for classes so that kind of sucks this is just basically a folder that I use to put my my like paperwork and stuff like that I have more folders than you think I have um, two more folders in my bag one is an envelope and I keep their um, loose leaf papers and bond paper and stuff like that and then on my other folder I keep more paperwork and more paperwork and that's kind of tiring to like reorganize them and such so I buy binders binders are your lifesavers even though if you're not required to bring these to school you can actually bring them they are so super um they'll keep you organized I promise they'll keep you organized and after watching this video maybe you'll get an idea how to organize your stuff um this is your backpack basically they're not the big chunky um cardboard um they're not the chunky cardboard um binders that you get anywhere this is like the plastic durable ones and they're super easy and they're thick and stuff so i'm gonna show you how i organize mine so of course i have my blue star um university loose paper and you get that off the packaging and they will be something like so this is the front cover and they will look something like this you have a little cardboard material which i never try to throw out you keep these back in the packaging they're 50 they're divided into 50 so this is 100 all in all but if you want to join them i'm gonna leave um one uh one stack of 50 papers in my dresser or my desk so i will use this on the time i really needed it so this is going back in the package later so here's the loose leaf paper don't don't throw this out this is actually really helpful when you're on the last page or pages before you're gonna finish your loose leaf papers and they're gonna keep you like um separated so first of all this will be my in my first little page because that's kind of hard and of course you don't want to miss putting your name or something so of course i'd put my name here but that's kind of like information personal information so I'm gonna put that later just maybe like a little homemade label over there like a printed one I prefer a printed one because it's like more neater and clean but maybe I'm gonna do like a personalized one which is more efficient or like gives you a little bit creativeness but I'm not gonna do that okay and now actually you're also gonna need one of these so these are like what the heck is that like class or something no it's punched pockets and they're the economy punched pockets and they're 50 and it has 11 holes which is great for any size and types of binders so 
I recommend you getting this. So of course you open the package up. In my organization folder, I only will use three. Why three? One little pocket folder is for my homework or project. Number two, I will put my paperwork, um, creative drawings and stuff like that for like subjects. And number three, I'm just gonna put here important files and school notice and stuff like that in this little paper. Well, do you know I have 47 more? You can keep this and use it for the next school year. If anyone tear or wrinkled, throw them away. You have more. So yeah. And I'm gonna show you how to organize this now. Okay, so first of all, you got this, right? And this is kind of hard to do, but you're gonna open these little guys up. And I put two in the back. This is the front cover, and this is the back. I'm just going to take these little guys and find the top part of that and, oops, they're really jumpy. I'm going to get the one. I'm just going to pick that up later. They're like tissue papers, so these are really easy to dispose of stuff. So, once you have your little loose leaf, um, just insert them into the little pocket punch thing, the one we opened a while ago. And as you can see, it inserts easily and fuss free. I put two in the back for my creative drawings and my um, important school or paperwork. So in goes my little paperwork in there. Okay, next I'm actually going to put my um, loose leaf paper in here because who doesn't like paper? Just kidding. These are important and this goes on two holes so this is a four hole and this goes in the middle section you don't need the four ones anymore i mean the two other ones so it'll just snap in like that wait let me get this Whee! let me just fix my camera and point you here so you can see what i'm doing here are my college, I mean university ruled papers and I'm finding the hole and now I'm just practically inserting my papers in there, fuss free. Fuss free, it's fuss free. Okay, and if you wish to put holes in them, you can do, but uh, I will because I'm um, I need another one here, so I'm gonna put that in there. So yeah. And then I just put the last piece on top, like this, and then I'm good to go. Very organized and efficient, and can bring this to school, it's lightweight. So I hope you like this video for organization of binders. And if you want more organization videos, I will be pleased to do that, but right now this is the best I can do. So I hope you liked it, and please comment, like, and subscribe. Bye-bye.